Hello YouTube, Annabelle56 here and here I am doing another Doctor Who figurine collection review. Today I'm going to be doing parts 28 and 29 in this review and a preview of my Cyber King um, review because that's the third special edition um, of the Doctor Who figurine collection. Okie dokie, on with part 28. It's a classic um, Doctor Who monster this time. It's Morbius from the Brain of Morbius, which is the fourth Doctor story. Um, Morbius is an excellent villain, as he is a dead Time Lord. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So we've got um, the Morbius monster. Oh, the humanity. 1976 part three. Your questions answered. And Camille Cordy. Cordor. Apologise for um, pronunciation. Okie dokie, so that's the magazine. I'm not going to show you any more of that. Inside part 29 is the cat kind, also known as Zap Brannigan, I believe. That, um, that was his name from the episode Gridlock. So that's Morbius. It is a classic Doc 2 monster. I'm not going to tell you any more about that because you need to find out for yourself because it is that good. Here we go. Here's part 29. Cat kind. It's a 10th Doctor story. from, And it's a gridlock. Is the episode name. Here we go. We have the cat kind. Jam today. Part 1. Um, 1977 part 1. Your questions answered. The people who David Tennant. And da -da 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 -da, inside part 30. We're going to get the sea devils. Which is a monster that hasn't come back. Um, in New Who. They're a classic monster. They're from the third um, Doctor's era and I absolutely love them and I'm really excited to actually have my own Sea Devil figure. Oh dokie, the packaging. Okay, so this is a Cyberman Part 14's packaging, uh, the 11th Doctor story. Don't know why I'm showing you that, but I've got him out here as I just wanted to add some colour to these guys. So I'm just going to spin them around. There's a preview of the Cyber King for you. I'm just going to remove him because he's going to have his own separate review. But as you know, I always do a comparison with another figure just so that you can see. So there they are. I take the Cyberman off and Morbius off. He's a great monster is Morbius. Okay, so this is Zap Brannigan, also known as the cat kind. He's got a really good facial expression and a good paint job there. I hope you can see it. I'm going to spin him around for you on the cheese board that way. I'm going to spin him the other way nice and slowly for you. There you are. That's a top view of him. There's his base. So, yeah, it's a pretty good figure. Nicely detailed. Love his scarf. So, yeah, that's that Brannigan. Now, Morbius, the classic figure. So, there he is. He's got his little human hand there. He's got... Body parts from all different kinds of animals. Notice the hair on his back. He's got this lovely claw. And he's got these sort of human-like boots at the bottom. And his brain is in this brain case here. And he's got these like little um, metallic eyes. So there he is, looking all Morbius. He really is an excellent villain. Um, it's basically a Time Lord that's been exiled because he was naughty. And that's putting it lightly. <laughs> and this other renegade scientist helps build him a body for his little brain, which is in the case there. So there he is. Let's just put the figurines back on here. Cyber King is huge, but I always like to have a look for scale. The cat kind figure is fairly light. Morbius is a little bit heavier, obviously, because he's a little bit more weighty with his claw and his head. Uh, he's heavier. Morbius is actually heavier than the Cyberman. And the Cyber King is just for scale. Because I think the Cyber King is actually one of my tall um, tallest figures. But I will be doing a special review looking at the Slovene special and the TARDIS special with the Cyber King because I think that is that would be a fair comparison. Ah, words. Can't get them out of my mouth today. Okay, the packaging. Got the Doctor Who logo, the legal garb. 
part 29 the cat kind and it's the same for this one not too logo legal garb i love that phrase legal garb it's awesome part 28 Mon morbius monster or they could just call it morbius you know as that's who he is and here we have the special edition packaging so special three cyber king 10th doctor story legal garb it's huge but i'm a bit annoyed because mine has got this black scuffing just there i guess it's distinctive but that's just a minor tweak i will leave you guys with the preview of the magazine so this is the front of the magazine and this is the back of the magazine hope you enjoyed this short review of these three guys um do check out my next review which is going to be on the three special editions okie dokie thanks everybody you know rate review add comments what do you like dislike about these four figures or do you have a particular dot two figuring collection figure that you think is awesome personally my favorite is still the ice warrior so yeah but the sea when the sea devils come i might do a comparison between them and the sea devils and see which one comes out on top okie dokie bye <laughs>